Apple's iPhone 16, it's glow time event just finished. And I could not be more grumpy. I feel like a grumpy old man. I'm just grouchy about this event. And here are my thoughts and thanks for listening, I guess, whatever. Apple just announced three essentially new-ish, but not really that new products. The Apple Watch Series 10, AirPods Pro 4, and the iPhone 16 models. The Apple Watch Series 10 is honestly a gorgeous redesign. It's thinner, a little bit bigger screens. Apple says it's bigger than the Apple Watch Ultra, but it's 46 millimeters versus 49 millimeters. Maybe I'm missing something. Please let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong and if I'm an idiot, that'd be great. But the Apple Watch Series 10 now comes in aluminum and titanium, it has some beautiful Milanese loops and other loops, new colors. It is a shiny aluminum now, which why doesn't the iPhone have that? A lot of really cool new things. Same crappy, horrendous battery life. And the Apple Watch Ultra 2 that came out last year is coming out again this year, except now it's in black titanium. And again, looks really good. Comes with a Milanese loop with a, like a parachute buckle. But again, who cares? Next up is AirPods. AirPods 4 came out and they're cool. New ear shape, I guess. They fit better in your ear. AirPods 4 with noise canceling, that's not confusing at all, for like 20 bucks more, has noise canceling and transparency mode. What's the point of the pros at that point? Pro, the pros are $100 more. Is it just they have better noise canceling and better transparency? But also, wait, there's more. The pros also come with new hearing aid technology, and that's just going to be added via software update. Does that mean the AirPod Pro 2s with Lightning that I have from like three years ago when they came out? are gonna get the software update. Like that's huge, but why do I care? What's the point of the pro moniker? Because they're not really pro, they're just more medical now. The AirPods fourth gen with ANC now does the same thing that the pros do for hundred dollars less. AirPods Max, new colors, USB-C, fantastic. Same horrendous $550 price tag. Next up is iPhone 16. Beautiful new colors. I don't know why they're not shiny aluminum on the sides, whatever new capture button on the side. I don't know what Apple calls it. I don't care for it. It, The iPhone cameras are, are awesome. And now with the 16 Pros, I can film an entire MCU movie just from my phone with the microphones and the cameras on the phone. Why do I care? Like, what is the point of me doing this? I bought a phone to be a really good phone and it has Apple intelligence, but it has the same Apple intelligence that the 15 Pros have. So what's new about this phone? The, the more shiny titanium on the sides. I think that's what Apple mentioned. I could be wrong. So there's just a lot of new, but not new, if that makes sense. A lot of really cool things that just take away from other things. For example, the Apple Watch Series 10 now comes in titanium instead of stainless steel. And it's, I think, like a more shiny titanium. It looks really pretty online and it comes with a Milanese loop. It comes in two different sizes and it's the same price as the Apple Watch Ultra. You don't get all of the extreme sports features and you don't get the battery life that the Ultra has. Other than that, it is basically an Apple Watch Ultra with that, that is a lot slimmer and more jewelry looking. It's really pretty. What's the point of buying an Ultra? Is it for the 10% of people who do extreme sports? Is it for the people who want a matte black Apple Watch? Is it for the people who want a really, really good battery life Apple Watch? Cause again, I get it. Battery life on the Apple Watch kind of sucks. My Ultra One, if you want a review on the Ultra One, by the way, let me know in the comments. My Ultra One, I have to charge every other night. I took it off the charger this morning at 70%, 5.30 PM. It's not terrible. By tomorrow night, it's going to be dead. So I'll have to charge it. And so it's kind of going downhill a little bit, but What's the point of the Ultras if the Apple Watch Series 10 is as good as it is? Yes, I know, I've been talking for weeks about how the Apple Watch is an iteration of itself every year and nothing big. Now that it gets a big upgrade, I'm complaining. I'm sorry. But then I also look at the AirPods Pros. What's the point of the AirPods Pro 2 if the AirPods 4 now are out with ANC and they're similar and better price? Most people aren't audiophiles. They're not gonna be able to tell the difference. They're not gonna be able to tell the difference in noise canceling and sound quality. The only thing I will say that could probably tell a difference is the physical feel. 
I hate the plastic feeling in my ear. I prefer the silicone ear tips, even though I don't love that either. So is it worth a hundred bucks just to have silicone ear tips? Are there ever gonna be AirPods Pro 3? Like, what are they gonna add with that? Because the twos that came out, you know, two years ago, just got upgraded again, but they're still called the twos for the third time. AirPod Pro 2, AirPod Pro 2 with USB-C. Now, AirPods Pro 2, major software update with hearing aid stuff. What's going on with the AirPods? AirPods Max, nothing new, just new color, USB-C. Air, AirPods Ultra, Apple Watch Ultra, nothing new, came out last year, came out like four years ago, the first one, and but now it just comes in black. That should have just happened last year. I don't know why it didn't. So that that's it, right? That's the iPhone event. That's the It's Glow Time event. No iPad mini. I'm sure John Prosser is disappointed. What do you think in the comments down below? Am I totally off? Is Apple doing something huge that I'm just kind of too blind and too dumb to see? The new screen sizes on the 16 Pros are awesome. 6.3 inch and 6.9 inches for the Max. Best battery life in an iPhone. That's incredible. Couldn't Apple have done more? I love how Taylor Swift Tech put it. He's pixel curious. And it's like, I get it now. You know, the pixel that just came out looks really interesting. And the iPhone 16s look so basic compared to last year. They just look so similar. And like, what's the point? Yeah, I can shoot a movie from my phone and it has some cool AI features that everything else now has, but they're not Apple's version, which is probably gonna be better than Google's. Isn't gonna come out till December, even the phones come out like in a week. So let me know your thoughts down below. I'm Jake, this is shot on my phone.